Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing the Magic Fly Incubator and hopefully we'll be answering some questions. I actually bought it last year and have only used it once and I was really impressed with the results. Inside, you will find all the pieces of the incubator along with the instructions. However, I didn't find the instructions to be so helpful. The one thing I did find useful was setting the temperature. The incubator is fairly easy to put together. You have the top which contains the heating element and the fan, the base which has the water reservoir and a side circular panel. Once it is put together you simply attach the cord, plug it in. Once it is turned on it will begin blinking until it reaches the preset temperature. In my case, I'm hatching chicken eggs and it is set at 38 degrees Celsius. I actually prefer Fahrenheit and I wanted to test the temperature so I bought a small thermometer. One thing I really liked about the incubator was the fact that it was a forced air incubator, meaning that the fan circulates the air through the heating element. I did find that the temperature was off a bit. So in this case, it should be roughly about 100 degrees. You should hold the set button for a couple seconds to reset it. Once the first setting, HU, comes up, you press the plus button until you reach CA. From there, you can either raise or lower the temperature to match the preset setting. In the instructions, it gave me no information at all about humidity, and I didn't have a hydrometer, so I decided to guess to test it out. There are two reservoirs, and I decided to put water in the first reservoir, which is the center one, it's smaller, for the first 18 days, and I added water every three days to make sure the humidity stayed stable. While editing the video, I actually checked Amazon since it's where I originally bought the incubator from and it is currently not available. I'm not sure if it's sold out or will no longer be sold on the site. So while looking at incubators I've seen the same model uh, with different names so I'm not sure if it's the same manufacturer um, selling to different companies but I have seen it under the name Magic Fly. Janol and also Yusu. I did find one on Amazon um, that is under the name Yusu. It is available at $99. The reviews look good uh, and it's the exact same as the model I have for Magic Fly. And I also checked eBay just to compare. I couldn't find the Yusu version of it, but I did find the Janol version of it. Um, it's actually a Janol 10 Plus, which actually comes with an automatic egg turner. I actually haven't seen this particular model before, but um, since it does have an automatic egg turner, I'm definitely interested in it. I'm thinking about buying it to do a review on this model as well. So the next step was obviously to get some fertile chicken eggs and I was actually lucky enough to find some uh, locally on Craigslist and as far as I know they are a Rhode Island Red and a Buff Orpington eggs. I wrote an X and an O on each side since they need to be manually turned and I did number them to keep track of each individual egg. 
I did candle them before putting them in the incubator just to see the difference during incubation and check for any cracks. Once they were checked and numbered, I went ahead and set them into my incubator. This is how they looked. And this is how it looked while I was testing the temperature. You can see that it's at 98. Along with this, I also made a chart of uh, helping me remember when to turn them. The chart starts on day one and you would turn the eggs at least three times a day until the 18th day, which is lockdown. Remember that day one starts 24 hours after the eggs have been set into the incubator. One week later, I decided to candle the eggs. And out of all of the six, I believed five were fertilized and growing. The temperature seemed to be holding well in the small incubator and I actually lost my lockdown footage but after this I just stuck to the chart um, refilling the water for humidity, turning the eggs three times a day up until day 18. I went ahead and raised the humidity. I added more water on day 18. By day 19, we had already had one hatch and two were pipping. By day 20, we had three chicks. And by day 21, we had five out of the six eggs hatch. I waited till the 22nd day to go ahead and remove them. And I did candle the egg one last time and it was completely see-through, which means it was never fertilized. I am thinking of making another video trying to hatch eggs purchased from eBay and thinking about buying that other incubator with the automatic turner. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see the next videos. Thank you.